Hey fam, today we're going to complete a testnet from a project that offers to make Web3 gasless for the users. Yeah, that sounds too ambitious, but it looks like they have a plan on how to do that. We really like their concept, so we're here to invite you to support them and secure our spot for the future potential airdrop. Zero Network is the first EVM-compatible rollup that wants to eliminate the need for users to pay gas fees, allowing dApps to provide on-chain interactions that feel as seamless as Web2 experiences. To permanently address gas fees and establish a higher standard for on-chain users' experience, they've utilized the power of the ZK stack. Another great feature they'd like to introduce, in case gas-free option isn't available, is to have a possibility to cover the gas fee for the transaction with any token the user has available. Now, Zerion is a Web3 smart social wallet and investing tool, and with it you can easily lend out your cryptocurrency, generate yield, provide liquidity and earn trading fees, and it works across Ethereum and 20 plus EVM networks, showing all your tokens, DeFi positions and NFTs. They've already raised $22.5 million from Coinbase Ventures and others, so there are more than plenty of reasons to jump right into their testnet now. And we've prepared a detailed step-by-step -step guide for you in this video. It's the right time to subscribe and like this video. Here we go! First of all, we will need to install the Zerion wallet, so follow the link in the description and create one. This part should be pretty clear. Save the seed phrase and then move on to the next activity. After the wallet is created, we need to request the test tokens of Sepolia Ethereum. You may find a few faucets mentioned on Zero Network's docs site and the link will be added in the description. For Google Cloud faucet, you'll need to connect your Google account and enter the wallet address. 0.05 Sepolia should be transferred to your wallet. We'll also add a few extra Sepolia faucets in the description for this video. As the testnet tokens should already be in your wallet, let's configure it to work properly with the test networks. Go to the Claim Zero tab on Zero Network's Docs website, open your wallet and find the Settings section. Then click on Developer Tools and turn on the testnet mode. Then click on Connect Zerion on the Docs website and hit the Claim Docs button. It might not work right away, as it sometimes happens with the testnets, so you might need to click on that button again until the docs are claimed. The next part should be pretty simple as well. You just need to go to the Bridge Zero Network website, connect your Zero and Wallet here. Now enter the amount of tokens and click Continue. Then press the Bridge Now button and sign the transaction. Alright, stay on this page and send the tokens from Zero to Sepolia. Change the network to Zero, enter the amount of Ethereum you'd like to send and click Continue. Then hit the grey button to confirm the withdrawal and confirm the transaction. This process will take some time, but make sure that you perform a few of these transactions. The last activity for today will be connected with sending some test Ethereum in your wallet. Go to the Explorer page and find the Transaction tab. Click on Transaction Hash Number and copy the wallet number. Then open your wallet and send some Ethereum in Zero Network to the copied wallet address. It might be a good idea to perform these actions a few times. Zero Network will probably be adding new activities to their testnet, so make sure you follow the project's socials for updates. And that would be all the activities for Zero and Testnet. We're glad that we took part in this together. This project really makes us wonder, what if they become an example to follow for others and really make Web3 gasless? Well, that is something we'll find out later. For now, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to Atoms Research to catch all of the upcoming guides. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!